Carol, we've also learned through an FEC filing report that Judge Juan Merchan, who presided over Trump's New York arraignment, made a campaign donation to President Biden's 2020 presidential campaign. It was for $15. Are the optics problematic here? I think the optics are a bit problematic. It's the To be clear, the donations were made in 2020 before Judge Mershon had either the Trump Organization uh, case assigned to him or obviously this case. But it is troubling optics, I think, for any judge to have made a political contribution and then to have a party who is either the beneficiary or not the beneficiary of, of that of that political contribution uh, before that judge in court. Now, it was a trivial amount of money. And this is a trial level judge. The judge in this case is not the ultimate trier of fact. The jury is. But the judge does call some balls and some strikes during the course of the trial. And if there's a conviction, the judge is responsible for sentencing. That is all subject to review on appeal. However, it is probably not the best course of action for a judge to have made political contributions while a sitting judge with a possibility that such cases can arise before him. Carol, earlier this week, the New York Times' Maggie Hamerman, who's done extensive reporting on Trump, reported that he is worried about the probes currently underway with the Georgia 2020 election interference case bothering him personally. His aides are privately worried about the Mar-a-Lago doc. Hey, everyone. Carmine Sabia here for Explain America. That is indeed troubling news. How are you supposed to get a fair trial if your former president, Donald Trump, when you have a judge who literally donated to the campaign of Joe Biden. I mean, he donated against you. It could have been for a dollar. He donated for somebody to beat you. And now he's presiding over your case. His daughter worked on the campaign of the person you face in the election. And that's not to say that Judge Marchand cannot be impartial and fair. You can't say that. His, his job as a judge is separate from his political beliefs, but the optics of this are brutal. In fact, they're so brutal that even if Bragg got a conviction, which Alan Dershowitz has said is likely, this alone could be grounds for appeal. The judge has literally donated to Joe Biden. What is, I mean, think about this. This is like having a baseball umpire in a Yankees and Red Sox game who you know, has a, a house full of Red Sox memorabilia, has bought Red Sox season tickets. It, 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 you can't be fair and impartial. And now that the people know that this judge has done, it's going to be hard enough to get a fair and impartial trial in New York City to begin with. You know, when you have a, a, a jury made up of people who, I mean, the city voted overwhelmingly against Trump. So it's going to be very hard to get conservatives on that jury, Trump supporters on that jury, and even if you do, those people have to go home and live their lives if Trump, you know, doesn't get convicted. And people are going to be furious at them. And now you got a judge who donated to the guy whose justice department is, is you know, investigating you right now. And the guy who you're taking on again in 2024 should you win the Republican nomination. Conflict of interest doesn't even begin to describe the severity of this situation. This judge needs to recuse himself and quickly or and and or it could be either one they need to change a venue if you ask me i think both things need to happen which is why i said and or both of those things need to happen you need to get a new judge and you need to change a venue someplace like staten island you're keeping it in the state of new york but it's more diverse in terms of the way it votes there's democrats there's republicans but to put trump on trial with a judge who supported joe biden in a city that overwhelmingly voted against him. This is, you know, a kangaroo court, just like just like Trump said. It's totally unfair, and it should not be happening in America. This reeks of political persecution. Even if that's not what it is, the optics are just abhorrent. Folks, thank you for joining us here at Explain America. Again, I'm Carmine Sabia. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.